1800 hours. Let's get this show on the road. We want to welcome all of you that are joining us here in the room and online as well for the regularly scheduled meeting of the Sacramento Metropolitan Fire District's regular board of directors meeting for Thursday, April 25th, 2024, time is 6 p.m. At this point, we'd like to go ahead and call the meeting to order and have a roll call. Yes. Madam Clerk. Director Sailors. Present. Director Weber. Present. Director Sheets. Director Gould. Present. Director Wood. Present. Director Rice. I see he is absent. Director Jones. Here. Uh, Director Costa told me he would not be with us this evening. And Director Clark. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's now begin this meeting with a pledge to the flag. Director Weber, would you please lead us? To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Director Weber. If those of you that are unable to join us uh, here in the room or online, I just want to make uh, a quick reminder that you can find all the details relative to when this particular uh, meeting will be re-aired. You can find that on our website and read all the details relative to that. Now is a public opportunity to discuss matters of public interest within the district's jurisdiction on items on or not on the agenda. Madam Clerk, do we have any Members of the public that would like to speak to us. Uh, I have no speaker cards, um, but Santiago is checking online. Uh, if any of the online attendees would like to address the board, please raise your hand and I'll give you the opportunity to speak. No response. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We'll now move on to consent items. I'll entertain a motion. We have two consent items this evening. Uh, summary of our minutes from our last meeting and a renewal of the AMR agreement of for ambulance services. I'll entertain a motion on those consent items. Mr. Chair, go ahead. <laughs> I'll make that motion. I'll it's second. Cool. cool, with hearing aids, you get that dual stereo. <laughs> All right, we have a first and a second. Any other questions or comments relative to consent? Let's now move to a roll call, Madam Clerk. Director Sailors. Aye. Director Weber. Aye. Director Sheets. Aye. Director Gould. Aye. Director Wood. Aye. Director Jones. Aye. Director Clark. Thank you, motion passes. Thank you very much. Just want to make mention of the fact that we have a representative from AMR here this evening. I want to thank him and his team for their work that they do in helping our organization perform some of those requests for services. We'll now move on to action items. The first action item tonight is adopt a resolution, an RFP award recommendation, 2401 Deferred Comp Consulting Services. And uh, Captain Dustin, I believe you're going to present. Thank you, sir. Board President, Board of Directors, Chief House, my name is Dustin Rodriguez. I am a captain at Station 101, and I'm sent here tonight to uh, present to you about the 457 um, RFP process that we went for our third-party administrator and our um, financial consultant. So our, our financial consultant helps us make sure that we're doing fiduciary testing, and um, if I can... Sorry, I'm going to calm down for a sec. You're good. Take your breath. You're fine. You're doing great. Uh, our financial consultant is highest group. They essentially make sure that our third party administrator nationwide is doing the job that they're supposed to. They make sure that any fiduciary updates or legislative updates that come from the Department of Labor um, are met and any changes that need to be made were being made. Also, the nine committee members that are there, three of them are retirees, six are active, and one is a administrative staff. And they make sure that we get the training we need to go help our members. Um, so with that highest group went through a process, there was three, um, submittals to the RFP highest group is our incumbent and they won again. Um, they merged with Morgan Stanley and that's why you see highest group as part of a separate business of Morgan Stanley over the past year and a half, two years. Um, with that, we have a one consultant Vince and he is assigned to us. He shows up to all of our quarterly meetings and he's there for any phone calls, any changes that uh, come up. So whenever we're looking to expand or offer services to our members, he is the one that we can call to make sure that their legal and fiduciary responsibilities are met. And that is all I have, unless you guys have further questions. All right, thank you, Captain. Any questions for this fine gentleman? 
Uh, Captain, I can share with you that I, I think I can speak on behalf of the entire board, but we are so delighted on this deferred compensation program and process. I know every time we get to details about it, it's just really heartwarming that you all have, have gotten behind this in such a major way. And it's such a wonderful thing for those that are involved in it. So kudos for all of your work. I know it comes with huge paychecks being on that board as a firefighter, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And it's and, and, and a, just a great thing because it offers to us, I think that next layer of comfort that the men and women of this organization also have some of that that investment that can help, you know, at, at some point in their future. But thank you very much for all the hard work and your team do. <laughs> and, and this is just a wonderful thing. So I'll entertain a motion. Thank you, Captain. I'll entertain a motion to adopt the resolution. I'll make so, the motion. Second. Okay. okay. <laughs> Marnie, you get yes. to decide who was that. Thank all you. right. Any other questions or comments? Let's go ahead and call the roll, please. Director Sailors. Aye. Director Weber. Aye. Director Sheets. Aye. Director Gould. Aye. Director Wood. Aye. Director Jones. Aye. Director Clark. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes. Thank you, Captain. Nicely done. All right. We'll now move on. Just for your information, we'll be dealing with action item number two after closed session. So we'll move on to reports. I just want to make mention, if any of you are tracking the agenda, you will see that tonight there are many no reports, and that's intentional. It's not as if our deputy chiefs and others aren't interested in giving us an update in their divisions. But uh, that was an intentional uh, decision on our part, uh, given some things that we will be doing in the future. So I just want to make a point of that. The first report is mine, and I get to uh, just really thank the men and women that helped uh, send a good team to Washington, D.C., commonly known as Cap to Cap. Um, I've done that a few times in, in my tenure here, and I, I can easily say this was one of the strongest cap to cap experiences that we had based on a lot of decisions that staff made prior to us are arriving, the relationships that we have been developing in DC. And, and I want the public to know that it was, um, it was money well spent. The connections that we made, um, the things that we heard, the experts that we met with, and on occasion, a couple of the members of Congress, um, we had an outstanding educational experience. The relationships that we're building in the region is, is money you just can't spend as well as we we were able to and, and get access to the people. We, we met with experts at a national level that were just very intuitive. I wanted to make a special call out. Everything that we did was fantastic, but there I, I go to a lot of meetings and a lot of presentations and a lot of conferences. And I sat with a, a panel led by our own deputy chief of operations and Chief Mitchell, that was one of the finest presentations I've seen in decades. The details, the, the experts that you were part of blew my mind. It was just that incredible. I could have sat there the entire day and blew off all the Congress and Senate people they wanted us to shake hands with because that was really where the rubber meets the road. And it has such an impact on our own organization. And, and I'm sure in the future, uh, we will make some policy changes based on the little that we heard there it was only an hour. And, uh, and yet it was phenomenal. I still lay awake at night thinking, what can we do and meet those people and get some of that information? So personally, I just wanted to shout out to you and that team and, and, and Jeff and Kyle and everybody else that was involved, the hard work that you did to make that beneficial. You know, it's not an easy thing to take time out of our busy lives and go do that. But the, the return on investment, shall I say, was incredible. And I look forward to doing it more frequently because I think the benefit to the citizens of the Sacramento region is tremendous as we make these connections. So that's my report. I'm sticking with it. You can't make me change it. And I'll move on to the fire chief's report. Thank you and good evening. Uh, colleagues, directors, members of the public. Uh, I'm just gonna add to that. It was a fabulous experience, but the connections, relationships and the, the image that we branded as we know it called Metro Fire, uh, we are making the standard not only locally but it was apparent um throughout the state but throughout the nation so it was received extremely well i just have a very short report <clears throat> um i just want to update you on our ma mih program and if if you were paying attention um which some of us do um on the 23rd of this week 
Um, Sacramento County Board of Supervisors approved an additional $1.1 million to our MH, MIH program. That's going to open up a second MIH. So we will have one north of the river, one south of the river. That's a great accomplishment for that program and for Metro Fire. But I'll go back to relationships. That's all built on relationships. And I can't uh, thank the Board of Supervisors enough for recognizing what we're, we're, we're doing for the community and bettering um, everything we do, not only just for first responders, but um, for the Sheriff's Department for getting the patients to the right facility at the right time with the right people. Um, so a big win for our organization, but really a bigger win for the public we serve. Uh, on the health and wellness side, we had a, on the 22nd of April, we had a, uh, a meeting with uh, CPF President uh, Director Rice and uh, representatives from Kaiser Permanente Cancer Leadership, who is going to um, get some funding for a nationwide study. We were part of that conversation, and um, I can't thank enough our team, but specifically uh, Battalion Chief Tony Peck and our safety specialist, uh, Bobby Sestito. Their presentations were received by um, Kaiser. Um, their comments were, we've never understood some of the information you provided to us and the depths of which cancer is affecting the fire service. So we're gonna see a lot of rewards from that. <clears throat> and the last thing is uh, some of you attended, I believe on April 20th, we did a uh, joint Red Cross uh, home fire and safety checks we uh, installed and went to 450 homes, installing four, 347 smoke alarms uh, at over 200 homes. Big win for the community of Rancho Cordova, uh, big win for, for Red Cross, and that will save some lives. And that's the end of my report. Thank you, Chief. Um, just wanna make mention that we have no ops report, administrative report, support services report, and I have a good author on good authority that we will also not be having a local five to two report this evening. So we're moving right on down the agenda. We'll start with committee and delegate reports. I have no report from the executive committee, so we'll move on to comm center, JPA, AC Green, no go, no show, time's up. We'll now move on to the Finance and Audit Committee, Director Jones. Okay, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Finance and Audit Committee met tonight. Uh, very uh, full, fruitful discussion, presentation on behalf of C CFO Dave O'Toole. We are within parameters on track for in incoming and outgoing. That's very, very good. And one interesting note uh, is that since we initiated the CERB uh, investment program for us, over the la since inception, we have had a 6.4% rate of return. I think that's pretty impressive given all the ups and downs that have happened in the last dozen or so years. So that's uh, a little check and a little uh, smiley face for uh, Metro Fire Investment. And uh, anyway, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Director Jones. Have a pretty good assumption that with without Director Costa here, there may not be anybody that wants to chime in on the policy committee. Anybody? All right. The next meeting is uh, May 9th at 5.30 p.m. There you go. Policy committee, May 9th, 5.30. We'll now move on to board member questions and comments. We'll start to my right. Director Saylor. No comments tonight, thank you. Okay, thank you for being here. Director Weber. Also no comments, thank you. Director Jones. Well, I gotta I got say at least one comment. I wanna thank uh, uh, Director Gould and the Chief for their reports, uh, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, all right. Let's go with Director Sheets. I too just wanted to thank Marnie for helping with cap to cap yeah. and um, Kyle and Jeff um, for the amazing experience and just the connections that we made. I thought it was a fantastic um, opportunity for me to attend and I am very grateful. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I agree. Director Clark, how no, about your no report, Mr. Chairman. Okay, well, <laughs> you turn the time over to that, Director Woods. I, I got to say two things real quickly, um, or three actually. Um, want to thank the Sacramento Girl Scouts for uh, donating cookies. They donated about 100 cookies to the Burn Institute. And uh, so my wife and a few others spent some time bagging those. And uh, she and I went around. We got about a dozen stations, uh, Sac Metro and City of Folsom, El Dorado. Uh, the local 522 and the Burn Institute wanted to make sure those got out to our men and women. So we did do that. And so I want to thank the Burn Institute and the Girl Scouts for that. 
um, on the Burn Institute still birdies for golf, uh, Burns golf tournament at Cata Vadera is May 13th. Info's on their website, ffburn.org. Um, and the Luau on the Links used to be the tropical fair. Now it's Luau on the Links over at the, um, the golf course off of, uh, business 80. Can't remember what that's called. Hagen Oaks. Hagen Oaks. Yeah. Hagen Oaks now. Um, it's June 29th. The information's on the website. Tickets are for sale and volunteers are needed. We need uh, both firefighters to uh, show up and uh, sell some raffle tickets. And we need others to volunteer to help man entrance and, and do other tasks of, for the Burn Institute. So if you can volunteer, do it. If not, go buy your tickets on the website. And we'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, as we close up tonight, uh, Director Weber and I had an opportunity to go out to um, uh, some training that was done today. I want to thank Battalion Chief Cole and others for that. Uh, it was wonderful to see the men and women. We both were a little nervous about the smoke that they generate. You know, <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't smell like raspberry or something, because we know it's fake. But I'd also thank the City of Citrus Heights for giving us access to those facilities so our men and women can be uber prepared for those dangerous commercial fires that we on occasion run into. So thank you to them for allowing us to do that. With that, you probably are all aware of the fact that we're gonna go into closed session. Now, I hope I don't have to remind you that when we come back out, you shan't be here, okay? There's no reason for you to stay and wait for us to report out. So please go home. Thanks for all the work you do. And we're gonna go into closed session now. Thank you. session we'll have our uh general counsel report out on closed session uh, thank you director gould uh, the board met in closed session under the closed session agenda to consider the industrial disability retirement uh, for employee brian uh, watley uh, no reportable action was taken thank you thank you john appreciate that uh, i will entertain a motion for the the action item listed in the uh, agenda for the industrial disability retirement of Brian Watley. Mr. Chair, I'll make the motion we find, uh, accept, adopt staff's recommendation and find uh, Captain Watley. Second. Okay, I've got a first and second on the motion. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Director Sailors. Aye. Director Weber. Aye. Director Sheets. Aye. Director Gould. Aye. Director Wood. Aye. Director Jones. Aye. Director Clark. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Just like to let my colleagues know the next, next regularly scheduled meeting for this body will be on May 9th, 2024 at 6 p.m. in these uh in these chambers. Thank you very much for your attention this evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.